It never fails. The moment I want to start recording, the neighbor's dogs go nuts. Bark and bark and bark and bark. This time it lasted almost 15 minutes. They don't care that I'm in the Champions League semifinal against Liverpool. They don't care I've clawed my way back into fifth place. They don't care that I've been trying to record this for 15 minutes now, but their constant barking has ruined the background noise reducer that I use to hopefully help my videos sound that much better. It's a tough life, but I'm having fun doing it. And we are indeed in the semifinals for the Champions League against Liverpool. My name is F.M. Jellico, and this is the Palace March, episode 50. And as you can see, we are doing pretty well. After beating Bayern Munich on a 4-2 aggregate, we uh, came back to face Blackburn at home, and we won. This was a strange game, to be honest with you. Goebbels had a 42nd-minute goal. Then uh, Song, I thought, put the game away in the 94th minute. And then Jonathan Burkhart, a Crystal Palace player of old, got a goal back in the 95th minute to make the score look a lot closer than it actually was. Blackburn was on the attack most of the game. They had 17 shots, 6 on target, our 12-5. and five. But we were just better up front than their players were. And our defense, while it wasn't bad, wasn't exactly great either. Neko was just average with a 6.9, and Marty did not have the best game either. But we, we squeaked one through. You know, the extra time goal certainly came into effect for both teams. We were then away at Stoke, and we won this game 2-0. Stoke was also on the attack most of the game. 19 shots, 7 on target. We were uh, 13 shots, 6 on target. I played balanced for most of this game. I went to positive a couple of times just to try and get the boys forward in the second half. And it really worked there. Borgia had a 66-minute goal. Miguel Luis had an 80th-minute goal. Fogner had a really good game. Luis had a really good game. The goal was a lot of that, but he also had some really key interceptions on the defense. He's turned into a really good sub on the midfield line. As a result, we have clawed our way into fifth place based on goal differential. Uh, we're two better than Everton, but that's good enough to uh, put us in fifth. We're on 61 points. We need six points to catch Chelsea in fourth place. I don't think that's going to happen. We just... You know, let me just go back to the schedule here. I don't think that's going to happen. We're playing Everton, Tottenham, Wolves, and Man United. And those are our last four remaining Premier League games. We need at least nine points from those four games to even think about fourth place. I think our one saving grace is Chelsea and Man City are in the FA Cup. So Europa League football is going to go down to at least... 8th place, if not ninth, with Arsenal being there at 8th already. We'll have to see how the end of the season plays out. But as it stands, I think getting into 4th place is going to be tough. Holding on to 5th place is going to be equally tough as well. But we're not here for that today. We are here to play Liverpool, home and away, in the Champions League semifinal. And this is the team we are taking. Neck and goal, Sintelis, Meppen, Bosankic, and Sablik as the defensive back four. Fagner, Tonali, and Linetti as the midfield three. Goebbels, Ajedi, and Mayoral up top as the strikers. I have to mess around with the substitutes here for a little bit. And we will be back with that match in just a bit. Now, we got this far last season. I'm hoping we can get to the final this season. But the fact that we got this far this season is... A definite feather in our cap. We're close. I think a couple key players and a couple key reserves will be doing really well. Firmino with the ball, dispossessed by Centellus. Long pass. Well, Ben Kovic knocks it down. Cook has it over to Grimaldo, up to Lozano, dispossessed by Linetti. Basan kick over to Mepham in the center. That was interesting. Basan kick back to Tonali, back to Basan kick. Oh, long pass. Set him up. Mayoral's there, and he hits it right at Allison. Dang it. Come on, people. Goebbels with the corner kick in. Knocked down. Linetti's there. Back out to Goebbels on the right. He drives it forward. No, into the crowd. Bounces off a Liverpool player. Cook has it now. He dribbles forward. Oh, he's got some speed on him. And dispossessed by Tenali. Well done, Sandro. Fagner dispossessed by Favino. Sala has it. Back to Cook. Out to Gomez. 
He drives towards the center. Off the post. Neca kicks it away, but Lozano stops it before going out of bounds. Sablik is there. Did it go out of bounds? Or I didn't. No, he was offside. Okay, that's what happened. Gubbles. Free kick from outside. In. Wow. Holy. S Can't believe that just happened. Shades of Luka Milivievic. Upper corner pass and outstretched Allison. Man, this kid. Tonali just picked up his 10th yellow. Four more and he'll equal Linetti. <sighs> I may just be looking for a new box-to-box -box midfielder this offseason. As much as I love Linetti. It's 14 yellow cards and a red card he's gotten this season. Coming up on halftime. And we take a 1-0 lead into half. Nine shots, six on target for us. Three shots, none on target for them. A very nice Gubbles free kick curling in the upper left corner of the goal. We are doing quite well. I think I'm going to stay on positive at least for the time being. Gomez on the right. Kickoff highlights. Oh, well, and now it ends. Well, we're 60 minutes in. No highlights the second half. I stayed... On positive this time. Oh, Gubbles with another free kick. Oh, off Becker. And a jetty hits it off Becker, too. Gubbles has it again. And he bounces it off a Liverpool player out for the corner. Or not. Okay. I thought that was a corner. Gomez to Sala. He brings it to the center of field. Over to the left, Grimaldo. Grimaldo, rather. Out to Lozano. To Cook. Over to Gomez. And he centers it in. Lozano's there, and he buries it. Well, that was well done by them. Thought Gomez was going to lose it there for a minute. Well, we are going to pause it. But Astor's going to go on for Linetti. I don't want to, but Luis is going to go on for Tonali. Can't afford to be a player down. We're still going to stay positive. At least until, you know what, we're going to go attacking. They just went attacking not too long ago. Neca up in the crowd towards Mayoral. Knocked down, but Luis is there. Over to Benasser. To Fogner. He loses it, but it goes right to Luis. He taps it forward. Vir Virgil's there. Or Van Dyke, rather. Back to Becker. Allison. I know why FM does this. I'm just not really a fan of FM doing this. Bellotti knocks it down. Fogner tried getting it, but he lost it. He gets his revenge by dispossessing Salah. Gubbles, long kick right at Allison. I'm totally miffed. I called him Salah when it's Salah. Benasser, corner kick. Taps it over to Fogner. Out to Luis. Top of the box. Back out to Benasser. To Luis. To Benasser. Kicks it in, knocked down. Fogner over to Mayoral on the right. He crosses it in. Gubbles is there. Off the post and into Becker's hands. Towards Lozano. He heads it up. And Alba Sankic is there to knock it out of bounds. I told the guys to concentrate. They got overwhelmed. We can't think at a time like this, Gaffer. It's too hard. Salo with a corner kick. And Neca plucks that from the air. I haven't seen him. I wish he wouldn't do that. Sends it right to Gomez. Gubbles knocks it down. Over to Mayoral. Three on two. Cross it. Or, you know, just kick it right at Becker. Allison. Lozano. Over the crossbar. Did I see that right? That is the end of the game. I did see that right. 16 shots. 13 on target for us. Ten shots, five on target for Liverpool. They had a huge possession advantage, but it shouldn't matter. Sixteen shots, thirteen on target. You'd think we'd get more than one goal. And that goal was off a free kick. Well, we got sixth place Everton in the interim. I'm going to play a probably slightly rotated side with some key players. Praise Gobble's performance here. You were superb. I'm going to do the press conference, and then we will be back with the away match at Anfield.
back in a bit. Well, we got lucky against Everton. I'll be the first person to admit that. I played a slightly rotated side in my 4-4-2 narrow diamond, and it took a Linetti goal in the 91st minute. Thank you, FM. For us to win. Uh, we have 15 shots, 5 on target to Everton's 19-6. and six. We had quite a few chances that just did not work out for us. Again, Neko was solid between the sticks. Our defense was really good, but Nasser had a really solid game. One assist, but his performance in the midfield was was well worth the player of the match award. Linetti came on as a substitute in the 57th minute, and then it was a set piece. We had a throw in that he was just loitering at the top of the box, got the cross, and just absolutely buried it. And frankly, if the goal had happened five minutes earlier, I wouldn't be upset by it. And the fact that it happened in the 91st minute, I'm not upset by it either. On the other hand, if everything wants to be upset by it, they can be. And this is the team we're playing against Liverpool today. Neck and goal, Centellus, Mepham, Kamara, and Amari as the defensive back four. Fagner, Tenali, and Linetti as the midfield three. Goebbels, Mayoral, and Hahn up top as the strikers. Fingers crossed, we'll give them a good game. Fagner picked up a yellow card. We're not even two minutes into the game. Okay. There have been no highlights this first half other than the kickoff highlight, which lasted all of 30 seconds. We're 40 minutes in. Liverpool's had five shot, one on target. We've had one shot, none on target. It's been a quiet first half. This doesn't really bode well for the second half, to be honest with you. If you do manage to hear a noise in the background, sounds like snoring, that's my dog. I love him, but oh. And I was on the attack all first half, too. Lozano cutting through the line. Centellus knocks it down. Fogner can't control it, sends it over to Alexander, and the highlight ends. Becker out to Grimaldo. Up into space. Lozano's going to run it down. And Neca's there. Well, we are 60 minutes in. We're going to make a change. Fagner's going to come off, and Van Nasser's going to come on. Borgia has not had the best game, so we are going to replace him with Ricci, and Ricci and Goebbels are going to switch positions. Neca, out to Tenali, to Fagner, back to Tenali, over to Linetti. He passes into space for nobody. Grimaldo sends it back to Allison. Over to Alexander on the right. Sala. Over to Lozano. Drives forward. And Neca with a nice stop. One goal, boys. It's all we need. Last 10 minutes of the game. We're going very attacking. Linetti picked up a yellow. Of course he picked up a yellow. Becker. Out to Gomez. Only two minutes of extra time. Alexander drives forward. Back to Sala, to Zhang, over to Grimaldo on the left. He takes a weak shot at Neca. No follow-up highlight? Last chance. Benasser knocked away. One more time. Benasser. Tarici crosses it in. Goebbels can't get to it. Was that a foul? Oh. oh, man. Okay, that sucked. They went on the away goal. Oh, we got 10.77 million. I'm going to do this press conference. We'll be back. <clears throat> I'm going to do this press conference. We'll be back in a second. Well, it's going to be Man City and Liverpool in the Champions League final. Man City thumped Napoli 4-1 on aggregate. We've got Tottenham Wolves and Man United as our last three games. Tottenham is mid-table. Wolves are eighth. And United is first in the league. And they are tied on points with Man City. We are tied for 6th place with Arsenal. They're beating us on goal differential. 
possible we could sneak up into fourth place. I don't see that happening, though. Chelsea would have to lose their last three games. Stranger things have been known to happen. But what we're going to do is come back for the Man United game and then have an end-of-season wrap-up. A nil-nil second leg draw, and we lose on the away goal. That's painful. But let me check something out here real quick. If you look at us, we're a pretty decent away team. We lost at Swansea. We lost at Bayern Munich. We've lost more games at home than we have away. That's going to sting. I think I would have much rather lost had they scored a goal. But, you know what they say, wishes and dreams. Well, if you liked what you've seen and heard there, please leave a like. Subscribe to the channel for more content. Questions, criticisms, comments, leave them down below. I'll answer those as fast as I can. My name is FM Jellico. I thank you for watching.